Good morning, everyone. Well, this morning I thought I would walk you through a little um, squash pollinating. This morning I am working on a spaghetti squash. Um, I guess I should refer to them as cucurbits because that is the family that it, they are in. However, since it's squash, it's so much easier to just say that. So we have these beautiful squash blossoms. On the left of the screen is the male squash blossom. And as you can see, if you look towards the base of the flower, you see that it just kind of curves gently right into the stem. Now on the right is the female squash blossom. And if you peek right back here, I'm gonna this leaf out of the way, you can see this lovely, lovely bulb. Now that, my friends, is the beginning of the spaghetti squash. Whatever type of squash you have, if it's zucchini, the zucchini ones are actually long and skinny. Um, I have another baby zucchini that are really round and those are wonderful, All right? But to get back to the point. So in order to self-pollinate, I'm going to switch into lovely macro view. Hey, how's it going? All right. Check out the inside of your female flower. Quite lovely. Now let's cruise over to this male flower. And I actually did remove this male flower from its plant this morning. Only so I can set it next to this one after I am done self-pollinating. So I just wanted to give you a nice little look at all that pollen and stuff in there. All right, so I'm gonna switch back. My other view, hi. Okay, so I'm gonna have to take this little male flower. I'm gonna take my paintbrush, my lovely splayed out paintbrush. I'm just gonna dip it in there nicely. Get some nice pollen on there. Pollen, see all that bright, bright yellow. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put it right over in here. Right into my little female, female squash. Just kinda rub it all around right in there. Okay, now, in order to ensure that this gets pollinated properly, I'm going to take this flower and I'm going to leave it right here, right next to this female flower. And what's going to happen is that later on, there's probably gonna be a bee or two that comes and pollinates this for me. So I'll get double pollination. And since I have terrible squirrels, I'm gonna cover this up with a lovely little cage. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed pollinating squash flowers this morning. I know it's a bit late in the season, but never too late for winter squash. Hope you all have a lovely day. Bye.